Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly read. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Um, so here's what's interesting, okay? Now, this could have been... What I'm feeling here is that uh, there was definitely a third-party issue. I'm not sure if it was a romantic issue, okay? This third party could have been... could be a friend. This third party could be a family member. This third party could be a romantic issue. I don't know, okay? Um, but there's somebody here, okay, that is feeling very... Um, Okay, you know that feeling that you get when somebody, uh, when you're realizing that somebody that you care about has changed or they are pulling away from you, okay? So you could be the one who has this feeling. I, I don't know. You place the, you know, you place the characters as they resonate, okay? But somebody here is feeling somebody that they love or care about pulling away and they're very much in their head about this and i mean very much in their head about this um this person feels like somebody stole their person okay like somebody stole their person um now they're seeing this person happy and and in a stable loving relationship and i feel like somebody kind of just um wakes up wanting to fight for the connection okay they, they kind of like want to fight for the connection so like one part of them wants to just kind of give up on the situation but then i feel like there's this moment of you know what i'm going to try fighting for this person all right so i don't know if that's you okay um i don't know if you know you may not know anything about this this could be something that your person is going through um you your intuition may be telling you that something is up and you don't really know what you know what i'm saying like you may feel like you may see weird things in your person, like your person feels looks bothered about something and you don't know why. Um, it could be because this is what's going on behind the scenes, all right? Um, but I feel like this this person here that is kind of feeling left out of the picture, I feel like um, they're, they're in this to play some mind games. They're out to start some strife and drama here, okay? With the um, uh, Hierophant under the deck here, I feel like this is a representation of um, tradition. This is a, a representation of... Uh, knowing that you have found the one and what I'm feeling here is that you know this this outside person now again this could be a family member it could be a friend you know what I'm saying sometimes listen there are parents out there that are like that you know you get moms that don't want to lose their sons you get uh, uh, you know dads out there that don't want to lose their daughters or vice versa whatever um, sometimes when a parent sees that their their child has actually found like the one you know there's a sense of jealousy so it could be family it could be a friend a best friend um, or it could actually be at their party but somebody here is out to like you know mess things up okay someone is coming in with not so great intentions and i feel that th this is because someone here knows that you know they see the person as a threat do you understand because th this person is so happy so stable and they feel like there's the sense of they're stealing them from me right um this could be a taurus that we're dealing with here so let's go ahead and pull some um some energy here for the overall energy spirit. What messages do we have for the collective, please? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, some of you may have gotten somebody pregnant or you may be pregnant, and that's why this is all coming to fruition. Maybe, you know, someone found out that they're pregnant and now this is moving into deeper territory where maybe you guys are getting married or moving in together and there's somebody here that doesn't like that, okay? Or this could just represent a new beginning. This could mean that something here is growing. Um, you know, children are a representation of fertility, of growth, of innocence. So maybe there's something here that's, you know, growing. We've got six chakras here. So I, I feel some of you that pregnancy thing may resonate, but honestly, I feel this is more, um, look under the deck, we've got community. I feel more that this is a third party, could be a friend, a family member, a love interest, you take it as it resonates, okay? I feel like there is someone here whose intuition is popping off that a new cycle is about to begin, okay? That somebody has went off, started a new beginning, and it's, it's you know, fireworks are going off, red flags are going off, that there's, there's, a, there's something wrong here, right? Like this is serious, there's a change. With the honoring path, I feel like somebody is realizing that their person, um, whether it's their son, their daughter, whether it's their best friend, or, you know, let's say, uh, you know, a, an actual sexual partner or a love interest, someone here is actually looking to do the right and honoring thing in this relationship, okay? So let me, let me just give you an example so you could wrap your head around this. Let's just say <coughs> um, you're a male, 
okay, and you have a good friend that's a girl, and, you know, maybe it's just a friend, or maybe you sleep with this person every once in a while, and they have met a guy that, you know, they feel is the one, and now there's a sense of jealousy, worry, or intuition, like, like, she is acting very different because of this guy, like, she's looking at this guy in a way that I've never seen her look at any guy before, and it's, it's, it's panicky, okay? or vice versa you know let's say you're a girl and you have a guy friend maybe you sleep with him maybe you don't um but you know this guy has met a girl and now he's talking about marriage and all this other stuff and you're starting to panic because you know this guy has never spoken about any other female like that before same thing if it's a mom or a dad you know it could be a parent that's starting to panic that their son their daughter is actually in a relationship where there's talk of marriage or you see that this may go further um you know it could be anything, okay? It could be anything. It could, that, that third party could really be anything, all right? So let's see what we have going on here. So we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So these are two very stable, solid um, figures here. This could represent a mom and a dad. It could represent the relationship that we're speaking about, okay? So the King of Swords is somebody who's very, I'm, I'm getting a sense of protective. Like this King of Swords and gender doesn't matter. They're very protective of this connection or this person is trying to protect. So with the Queen of Pentacles could be a mother. The Queen of Pentacles could be a love interest. Um, but it's a very stable, loyal, grounded, caring um, energy, okay? So this could be a mom and a dad, okay? Or this could be the actual couple that we're talking about here that is very stable and protective. And that could be the red bells that are coming off here that's kicking off someone's intuition that, you know, this person doesn't want their love interest touched, okay? So we've got Wisdom here, which is the High Priestess, and we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Okay, so this is, um, this is, this could be a, an energy of somebody's intuition is popping off because they're seeing how this person is moving towards this other person with so much love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Um, let's see here. We've got the Four of Swords and we've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be also an energy of somebody here having a secret crush because, see, the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean Energy, does not uh, speak. They, they're mysterious. So someone here may be secretly wanting to move towards somebody with love because with the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, um, somebody here is basically, I don't want to say being shut out because that's not the right word, but being held back. Okay, like someone here is holding back. This is that energy that I was telling you about of like this person is feeling like uh, the relationship has changed. Okay, this is that that person that has that fear of losing like this is the, the energy of that person that's like, oh my gosh, this person is being stolen from me. Okay, um, it's an energy of with that four of swords just kind of like waiting and being unhappy, um, you know, being really upset that four of pentacles is someone here is withholding, they're not talking to you as much not not meeting up as much queen of wands and the queen of um, the queen of wands and the king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. So this is interesting because look at what I'm seeing here. We've got two people on the board here and we've got a, a, a true pair here, king to the queen of, of wands. So this is what I'm getting, okay? We've got, I feel like the queen of pentacles is the energy of the person that has fear of losing, why? Because this is the person that has went off to have another connection, okay? This person has now become less emotional, maybe less friendly. They're very protective of this connection right here, this king and queen of, of wands, okay? So, you know, the, the coins could be a friendship type of thing. It, it could just be, um, you know, somebody who's a solid figure in, in this person's life. Because you have to remember, if this person is having fear of losing this person, this could be a best friend that really relies on this person for comfort. Um, it could be a friends with benefits that really relies on this person, you know what I'm saying, to always be there. Um, you know, I mean, even though they say friends with benefit type of relationships aren't steady, that's I don't really find that that's true. I feel like it's kind of like a relationship where you guys rely on each other, but without titles, like type of thing, right? Um, so, you know, there is a true pair here. There is a true pair here, and I feel like this is the this is the couple, this is the pair that this person is feeling. Is, like I feel like this is the, the connection that somebody here is envious over or that somebody here is trying to break up, okay? 
because um, somebody is holding back from them because of this connection. Okay, and my, I hope I'm explaining myself well. So here we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Magician, Virgo Gemini Energy. So someone here is starting to feel like um, they're giving up on trying to manifest something like they're they're giving it's becoming too difficult six of pentacles and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy okay so look right off the bat here we've got the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles now i would say that this is a true pair okay i would but see with the six of pentacles there what this is telling me is that somebody wants to manifest this person to be a true pair they're trying to manifest this connection okay this queen of pentacles here to this king of pentacles but with the six of pentacles the feelings are not reciprocated it's out of balance okay one person here may be in love and this one not so much do you understand and i feel like this person has been manifesting like a beast because they're exhausted okay someone here has been trying to manifest a relationship this queen of pentacles has been trying to manifest a relationship with the you know to to be a true pair you know king of pentacles queen of pentacles but they're giving up because the, i feel like with that six of pentacles the feelings are not reciprocated okay we have the seven of wands here and the queen of swords. So I feel that somebody here is being blocked. So now look, we've got the king of swords to the queen of swords. So for me, this is a relationship that has kind of gone cold. Okay. Because with the seven of wands, maybe there's not much communication. So again, uh, wants is communication, wants is passion, wants is travel, right? So this could be a best friend that is now, th this queen of swords here, this could be a best friend that, you know, maybe their per th their friend uh, calls them every day and now they're not getting that type of attention. This could be, you know, a friends with benefits where normally, you know, at least three times a week you get a phone call from this person and now you're not getting any, okay? Um, this could be a situation where this queen of swords is trying to text or contact this king of swords, but because this king of swords is in their relationship out to dinner doing whatever they're doing they're not answering so again there's this energy of you know blocking okay blocking um we have fertility here and the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy so what i'm feeling here is um what i'm feeling here is empress uh so, you know, we have children and fertility here. So somebody may be married. Somebody may have found out that somebody is not married. Somebody may have found out that there's a pregnancy, possibly. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But I feel like with that Ace of Swords, the, the, the truth here, the realization, what somebody is seeing is that somebody here has found the one with that Empress. Somebody here has found the one. Somebody here is, is building a life, is creating with this person. And I feel like somebody here just feels very left behind. Okay, they feel very left behind. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, I feel like that Queen of Swords feels scorned. So let's see. Spirit, tell me about this King of Swords. What's going on with this King of Swords, please? The Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this King of Swords feels bad in a way. Like, let's just say, you know, this King of Swords is out with their person. Because I, I got to be honest with you. I, I see three couples on the deck. I feel that the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands is the true pair. Okay, that's how I'm feeling here. I feel like this is the real couple, the couple, the Hierophant couple, the Empress couple. This is the real deal here. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is a connection that somebody has tried to manifest, but it's out of whack. It's out of balance because feelings are not reciprocated. And the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords, I'm feeling is the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. That's where this relationship is going. It's getting colder and colder and more distant. And I feel like this King of Swords feels bad about that. He does, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this King of Swords and this Queen of Swords were very close. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is a very close relationship very stable very grounded these are the two type of people that like don't go a day without speaking to each other tell me about this queen of pentacles please spirit the six of pentacles so you see this we see how we have the six of pentacles here and the six of pentacles here it's out of balance with this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles feels one way and this king of pentacles feels another way this king of pentacles may feel like this queen is just a friend or not serious about this queen and you know this queen may really be in love tell me about the six of pentacles 
the five of wands. What did I tell you? You see, this queen is coming in to fight, cause strife, cause drama. I knew that that queen of pentacles was that person out to cause drama. I knew it. Tell me about the high priestess. We've got the queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, tell me about this knight of cups. We have the ace of cups. So I feel like you see the queen of swords is right here, right? And then we have the queen of swords here. So this queen of swords is very intelligent. She's very strategic and her wisdom, her intuition with that high priestess card is telling her that this king of swords has fallen in love. The way this king of swords is acting, the way he is speaking, it's showing this queen of swords that this king of pentacles has fallen in love. Okay. That he has went off to start a new beginning. Gender does not matter here, guys. Okay. Gender does not matter. Tell me about the four of swords. We've got the eight of pentacles. Yeah. You see, Whereas this queen and king of pentacles or this king and queen of swords used to maybe go out and do a lot of things together, right? Now that's not happening anymore with that eight of pentacles, okay? Maybe you guys um, are in school or you work together or just go to the gym together, whatever it is with that eight of pentacles, that's putting work in, that's going out, doing things. And with that four of swords, now somebody is just sitting home. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Yeah, five of pentacles. Somebody here feels abandoned, okay? Somebody here has to totally withdrew their attention. And some, this, this queen of pentacles is feeling abandoned. Tell me about this queen of wands. We've got the world, okay? So this king of swords, this king of pentacles, this king right here thinks the world of this queen of wands, okay? And this is what I'm saying here. This is the one. This is the one. This queen of wands has shut the cycle for this king, as in he is no longer single. Gender doesn't matter, okay? Uh, with tradition here, the hierophant, somebody here feels like they have met the one. You understand what I'm saying? It's over. Tell me about this king of wands. We've got the judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Yeah, this king of wands has made a final decision that this queen is the one for him, okay? And there's a third party here that is not happy about it. Ten, five of wands here. This, this third party wants to start some shit, okay? Tell me about this ten of wands. The devil, Capricorn energy. I feel like somebody here is uh, ready to snap is what I'm getting. This person has taken just about as much as they can take. And with that devil card, um, the anger, the jealousy, the envy, it's going to make them snap. Tell me about this magician. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Um, so I feel that, um, yeah, that this person is seeing this Empress, seeing how uh, how good this connection is going, and they're ready to snap. The jealousy, the envy. Tell me about this Empress. Yeah, the two of wands. This empress has caused a lot of distance between this king and queen of pentacles. And I feel like this queen of pentacles is ready to snap. That ten of wands is like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like I've had enough. Now with that devil, someone here is unleashing something here. Tell me about the six of pentacles. We've got the three of pentacles. So you see, what I'm feeling here is somebody here wants to work on this connection and that's where the imbalance comes in one person here wants to um, build a relationship with this person whereas the other is you know king of pentacles here we've got the page of wands leo sag aries energy tell me about this page of wands what is this king saying the three of swords yeah see okay so what's happening here is this queen of pentacles is, is saying or maybe wants to work on a, a connection, a, a, a committed, like, romantic connection. And this King of Pentacles is saying, listen, um, Three of Swords is relaying some painful information here of, no, I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I, I'm in love with somebody else. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Energy. So look, we've got the King of Wands here. Remember what I said, how I said with that Seven of Wands, this is somebody not texting back. This is somebody not, you know, um, going to, uh, you know, those booty calls and not coming in, let's say, or not meeting up to go out and have lunch type of thing. This King of Wands with that Seven of Wands is pushing away this Queen of Swords because why? Here we have the King of Wands. This King of Wands is with this Queen of Wands doing his own thing, right? And tell me about this Queen of Swords the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this Queen of Swords, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that card should be in reverse. She's very scorned. That Ten of Pentacles, yeah, the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. This Queen of Swords, um, I feel, 
wanted to be chosen because the lover's card talks about making a decision this queen of swords i feel always thought that they would end up being chosen to have this ten of pentacles and they were not chosen tell me about the empress we've got the hermit here virgo energy tell me about the page of swords we've got the five of swords yeah what i'm getting here is that somebody here wants to win at all costs someone here their light bulb is going off saying you know what Remember in the pre-shuffle, I told you a light bulb is going off of, you know what, I, I need to do whatever I can. I need to do whatever I can to get this empress to leave us alone. Okay, so this person is, 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 you know, withdrawing for a minute to try to figure out how to come in and tear shit up, basically. Okay, and tear shit up, basically. Um, yeah, see, we've got the queen of Kent. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. The challenge is going to be the Four of Cups. Someone here is feeling lonely, rejected, upset, unhappy, okay? And with the um, the Moon card here, okay, I feel like um, this King of Pentacles, this King of Swords doesn't realize that behind the scenes, okay, um, that this Queen of Pentacles is feeling this way. Because don't forget, this King of Pentacles, I don't feel really knows that this Queen of Pentacles wanted a romantic relationship with him. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like this King of Pentacles may see this person as either a friend with benefits or as a, as a stable friend. Um, now, this could be a family member where it could be that this King of Pentacles, um, you know, it could be a cousin, a sister, a brother. You know, maybe this King of Pentacles has no idea that his family member feels this way, okay? Um, it, it, I don't really feel like it's a family member, I'm not going to lie. I feel more it's either a, a friend, a very good friend, or friends with benefits, or... Um, you know when you have those relationships where you hang out with somebody all the time you don't really have a title with this person but you know maybe you sleep together you go out together you're with each other all day it's like a situation ship right type of thing i feel like that's what this was and then this king of pentacles here got himself into a relationship king and queen of wands um and they're infatuated, okay? Um, this queen of wands is the world to this person. They've made a final decision that maybe they want to marry this person. And now this outside person here is just bugging out, right? I mean, they've just, we've got the seven of swords here and the seven of pentacles. So this is that energy of seven of pentacles talks about the past. I've known this person longer. I've invested in this person. I thought I was going to end up with my 10 of pentacles and this empress stole it from me. You see that seven of swords? They stole my dream. They stole my future. I invested in this. I have been with this person through thick and thin. I have had their back through it all. And now what this empress, this queen of wands can just walk in and steal everything from me. Hell no. Hell to the nay nay. So this third party is coming in they have had it this th this third party has had has seen and heard just about as, um, enough more than they can handle and now that devil's coming out now that anger that that revenge that envy that jealousy is coming out so guys you got to be careful here i mean i don't know what this i don't know what this person is up to so let's see here um what's going to happen okay let's see what the outcome is going to be between this king and queen of wands let's see what the outcome is going to be here between you know these two here um let's Let's see what the, I, I mean, I feel like the energy for this King of Wands here is that he is completely besotted and in love in a relationship here. And I don't really think he honestly has any idea of what's going on over here. Because you see with the Moon card and the Four of Cups, he has no idea that by pushing away this friend or whoever this person is, that all of this, you know, craziness is about to happen. Because trust and believe with the Five of Wands and the Devil and the Five of Swords here, um, some, some, something's about to pop off make no mistake okay mind games winning at all costs with that devil behind it lies cheating being deceitful maybe even seducing somebody and that five of wands someone here is out to play and they're out to play dirty this person is fighting to win um and we're talking like street fighting here hitting below the belt this person doesn't care what they have to do but they're in it to win it okay so let's go into the extended and let's see what we have going on, okay? I love you guys. Be safe. The link for the extended will be in the description box below or in the comment section. Bye, guys. And section. Bye, guys. And